Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Candy's humming, very nice. I'm humming, humming, uh, humming, humming. Fathead and Candy Roth. By the way, this Wednesday, tomorrow, night one of our secret holiday show. Hey, I can't believe it already. I know, can't wait. And also on Thursday, uh, we start our 12 days of Christmas. Uh, Jay Letterman at noon, every day starting, every weekday, for 12 days starting uh, Thursday. Uh, we will have some kind of cool gift to give away. And in certain instances, it'll be a really cool uh, kid gift. And in certain instances, it'll be like an adult gift. Like we have AirPods and we have all sorts of stuff. Nice. Candy. I love it. Yeah. So, I mean, it's going to be it's going to be it's awesome. It's the gift giving season and I couldn't be happier. Absolutely. Uh, we are we are excited about it. Green and- light to shop. Yes. Uh, thank you to Smithtown Kia, uh, who's a part of that 12 Days of uh, Christmas, smithtownkia.com. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, Candy, a uh, couple of things here uh, before we get going into uh, good news and all that. Uh, I do want to tell you that I was reading an article. They did a survey of people driving to work, and regular radio is still number one most listened to, Candy. Of course it is. You want to know Why? Why? Because it's live, and we give you information where human beings just like you, and we all like to hear each other talk. Yes, I agree. That's what I was going to say. It's well done. Idiot. It is, right. You want it, You want your local, uh, like this, you know, the, the, the jibber-jabber, the, 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 cha- the chatting, right. the local My life weather. Right, just like your life sort of thing. That's right. The local weather, the local traffic, all that stuff. Uh, radio still number one uh, above all, so thank you. Thank you to everyone who... Uh, tunes in and listens. Oh, before we get to National Days and all that other stuff, I also want to tell you, I finished the new season of Selling Sunset on Netflix. How was it? You know, that's that uh, L.A., I Beverly do. Hills. I saw it. I was watching Netflix over the weekend, and I saw that. I uh, didn't watch it, but I saw it. You know, I wish they would focus a little more on the houses. You would think. There's a lot of drama. They they obviously, for good reason, they focus on the drama between the ladies, but I really would like some more of the house. Like, I'm so into the houses. I want more of that. Me too. I love it. I could do that every day. Go to house to house just to see what's going on in the house and how it looks, yep. how it's made, the whole night. I love that. I used to do open houses every Sunday just go around. Oh, my parents do that all the time. They're like, oh, there's an open house down the street. Let's go see what's going on in there. I love it. We've always wondered about that family. What's going on in there? Right, I agree. Um, And I also want to tell you something else to watch. Now, I will admit, I know you're going to say, I haven't seen Concussion yet. I know. I haven't seen King Richard yet. I have it all on a list. But I'm Shameful. But I'm going to give you something to watch. It is trending number one on Netflix. It stars Kevin Hart and Wesley Snipes. It is called True Story. And it is a uh, serious role for Kevin Hart. And he does play a comedian in the movie, but it's a serious movie. Um, It is seven episodes. It's broken up into episodes. I'm up to episode three. I am fully in. It's suspenseful, and it's uh, it's interesting. I think you should watch it, okay? Okay. All right. It's called— I watched a series on Netflix. I think you recommended it to me, knowing that I'm all up in the UFO thing about UFO uh, investigations up to date. Really— great i think there were four or five maybe six episodes excellent all right i don't know that that was me because i'm not a big ufo guy oh so good you know one of the uh former members of blink 182 is big into it he has done incredible things and found out so much it's really good so if you want to see that we're not alone (laughs) i suggest that one ufos got it all right uh today's national personal space day I love my personal space. I know. Isn't it great? It's the best thing in the world. (laughs) National Mason Jar Day. Hey, lots you can do with a mason jar. I like drinking out of a mason jar. Do you? You know, some pubs, those are their glasses. Yes, I I, I love that. Yeah, yeah. It's National Moose Day, like the food. Moose, yeah. Oh, I was thinking the animal. No. Moose, well, I haven't had a good moose in quite a while used to love the chocolate moose at Artie's warehouse in new york city we used to go there as kids yeah Mm -hmm. uh the word moose in french means foam by the way i didn't realize that 
It's National Meth Awareness Day. All the uh, trouble that brings to uh, communities, Candy. Here's the message. Stay away from it. Yes. Computer Security Day today. I guess Very important in this day and age. Change your passwords or whatever. Uh, Stay home because you're well day today. Is there a better reason? (laughs) I don't think so. It's National Mississippi Day, and it is the National Day of Giving today, Candy. I give you all my love every day. No, I understand this, and I appreciate it, but do you know it's actually officially the Day of Giving? You have... uh, Thanksgiving, you know, you got Thanksgiving Eve, then you got Thanksgiving, then you got Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, um, Cyber Monday, uh, Cyber Monday, and Giving Tuesday. Candy, you're supposed Just to give in any way you want. Yes, charity, help someone. Yes, Giving Tuesday. Yep. Uh, a couple of quick things for you, guy in Utah, Josh Downs, uh, went around on Thanksgiving to forty gas stations, gave each cashier a pie and a hundred dollar gift card. How sweet. I always think of the guys working, the women too, you know, on the overnights and all kind of off hours. And, oh, yes, that's a sweet thing. Uh, 70 different people donated to help pay for that. Someone in Nebraska walked into a bakery, bought two turnovers for $5 and left a $2,000 tip. Now that's tipping. Uh, More than 20 7th and 8th graders got together to rake leaves for senior citizens in New Jersey. You know, that's interesting about the leaves. I was thinking about you yesterday. What are you doing with your leaves? As you know, every year I leave them (laughs) because their name is Leaves. (laughs) I leave them on my grass, Candy. I don't know. They're they're, they're nature. They're part of nature. (laughs) So you do nothing. I do nothing. I leave them, yes. (laughs) What about in the spring? Uh, in the spring, yes, in the spring when uh, when my uh, my my landscaper comes, you know, to start get going with whatever, um, I will have them uh, pick up all the leaves. And I know oh. I'm supposed to do it because if you care about your grass, you're supposed to do it before the winter and all Apparently, that. You don't care about your grass. I, it is what it is, Candy. It is what it is. Why didn't you have him come now and get rid of the leaves? Because they're leaves. <laughs> And I like to leave them. All right. That, All right. Point made. Very that, well. That joke will never get old. And for never. One, one more, a 12-year-old in Chattanooga, Cash Daniels, 12. He has been for uh, many years now uh, cleaning up the Tennessee River when he heard about the pollution. He has removed 14,000 pounds of trash. Oh. He recycled one and a half tons of aluminum. Wow. And he takes the money he gets from recycling and buys trash cans and puts them along the riverbank. Wow. He was named one of America's top 10 youth volunteers. I, I think that's fabulous. That really is a great thing. I hope other people follow suit. Wow. Love follow that. Cash's lead in Chattanooga. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Have a great rest of your day today, kid. You too. I know you won't be raking leaves. No. So what will you be doing? Ah, I'll be uh, at work. We have our meetings today, all sorts oh. of different things. Oh, uh, getting ready for Secret Holiday Show Night 1 tomorrow. Oh, that's right. And we go into December tomorrow morning. Unbelievable. Crazy. Yep. My Country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.